Hi everyone, this is a very special day for the Doggy Doos crew. Doggy Doos turns 21 today and Miss Natalie (laughs) herself is with us. We're going to do a little bit of recording and she's going to give us some insight of the last 21 years in business. (laughs) It sounds very self-indulgent, Tay, but it's great and I'm so excited to be celebrating today. You should celebrate. It's 21 years. Yeah, I guess so. I guess we we wouldn't have a a first birthday party or a 10th or a... A 20th even, but I thought, no, I can't go on. I have to acknowledge that we have been around for 21 years. And yes. It's great. So I think you should. 21 years ago, we turned the key in the door and it changed my life forever. So little did I know back in the day that Seddon would be the thriving metropolis that it is right now, but it's been a real journey and we're so I'm so blessed to be able to be uh, part of a community and part of a process of um, establishing a business that now is... Um, quite uh, like a long-term business so yeah how was it at the very start well at the very start it was probably a very familiar journey for everyone who opens a business they were very quiet days and I always say it's like having a party and no one coming uh, for the first couple of months I think I lived on Vegemite sandwiches for the first couple of years. So <laughs> nothing that was wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. No. And um, I worked two jobs. So I had uh, a couple of jobs going so that I could actually pay the rent. And um, I wish I was paying the rent then, now, of what I was paying then because oh, really? <laughs> the rent has gone up <laughs> substantially as the suburb has grown. So, yeah. But back in the day, um, you know, mum used to come down and help me. And mum worked a full time job as a teacher and she used to jump on the train every Saturday morning and come. And help Aww. wash dogs and you know, talk to clients in the shop and help me sell stuff. And she was just so good and so um, invaluable. And I'm just, I'm really grateful to the day that mum has been able to, to be part of that journey with me as well. And but certainly back in the early days, I really, really relied on on uh, her help because you know what it's like with um with running a business, you know, you do need people to, to actually give you a hand. And I wasn't aware of that when I first started. I thought, oh God, if I employ someone, then I must have, you know, I must have to be really busy to employ someone yeah and I quickly realized that you don't need to be terribly busy to actually need a second pair of hands so (laughs) so what sort of support was around obviously you had your mum yeah so um really there was a great deal of support that um, was untapped so I um I realized that I probably need a little bit more help in the the business itself and I went down to the local council and I was lucky enough to jump into a program that was mentoring uh, people that were new new to business. Mm-hmm. And although I've got business in my lifeblood with my family, we've had lots of other businesses, um, it was great to be able to hook in to a program that really helped me. And I was lucky enough to get um, Alone Away, who was a business coach, yep. and she was great. She was really good. So back in the day, I was really like a standalone grooming salon. There were no grooming salons at all, you know, in the area. Um, and we were inundated with dogs. And so that meant that, you know, we were working in a really stressful environment. We didn't have the right equipment to support us. Um, and we didn't have a lot of the skills and the knowledge that we have now. So back in the day, it was just like, you know, almost like dip and snip just to keep up with demand and every single dog we did was matted like really matted so yeah I'm sure you would like to thank a few people oh my god there's so many people to thank (laughs) (laughs) and and I really would like to um acknowledge my family because without them I certainly wouldn't be here they gave me the confidence that I needed to to open the business but they encouraged me on many 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 different levels and um, so, you know, without them, I just, I, I, I wouldn't be here. But mum and dad said to me very early on, they said, Nat, you can do anything you like in life. And I think that that just gives people permission to follow dreams and to be able to recognise what they really want to do and to be able to follow a, a passion, which is wonderful. And the other, the other thing that goes along with that were the, um, the Mercy Nuns at, uh, at Ballarat. And I know there'll be a few older people listening that were probably taught by nuns, but the nuns were fantastic and they instilled some really um, awesome values in me that are really current to this day. And uh, last year I did a train the trainer program just to keep my, my skills up. And I, um, I looked at that program and then I looked at the curriculum that we had for our Catholic education and it was really, really similar. Basically, just be nice to people and be kind. Yeah. And, and really, that's you know, a principle that, that, I've, um, that I try to live by. In the early days, um, my partner Jane cheered me on and, um, and a lot of my friends really encouraged me to be 
are you know, really involved in the business and they, they, some of them had businesses themselves and that was really wonderful but I really quickly realised that I needed someone just to look at my business just for me and that's when the business coach um, that I was lucky enough to get alone away came on board and she really um, pushed me and made me focus on my ambitions and she gave me a pathway to actually achieve that and without that motivation and that direction, I don't think I really would have um, reached the goals that I'd set. So goal setting, as we've talked about many <laughs> times, is super important because life goes so fast. You know, we're celebrating 21 years today. That's and crazy. <laughs> no, 10 I'm years ago. I'm only 28, so... <laughs> <laughs> 10 years ago, I sat with Alona and said, oh, I'd really love to have a school. And I'd really love to do this and da 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 She said, right, cool. Let's work back from there. And... And really that has been um, the story of my business life, is working back to, to, a, to a goal. So Alona's played a really good part in that and we had, we had a little business ourselves over in Port Melbourne and um, Alona still has that to this day, so that's awesome. And I'm really I'm really wrapped to still be um, great friends with Alona and she's done some wonderful things, so that's, that's really cool. And then 10 years ago, I met someone else who changed me again. And Anna is not only my business partner, but she's my partner in life as well. Um, and she is one of the kindest, the most loyal, um, <clears throat> generous and competent people that I know. She's just amazing. And she's done so much for, um, for systemising the business and really um, giving it a clear direction. Uh, and that has allowed us then to look at other business pathways and that's, that's great. So um, all of a sudden I you know, had the business on my shoulders and now I share the business journey with her as well as our life. And it's become part of our life, or mostly all of our life. But it's wonderful to share that with her and, you know, it's great to be able to reinvent but to have someone along the way to come with you on that journey is really special. And how many people get to live and work with their partners? It's got its challenges, there's no <laughs> doubt about that. <clears throat> but it is absolutely wonderful to be able to do. And, of course, the journey wouldn't be complete without all of the wonderful, caring staff that we have employed over 21 years. So... Um, although we, c- we turn the key every day, not every day is the same, so no two days are the same. And every business has its own lifeblood and this one has a unique heartbeat. Um, I'm still blessed to be with some of the finest people I've ever met. A- anyone who's ever come through these doors, um, at their core, is an animal lover. And I think animal lovers are the best people in the world. So they're kind, they're caring, they're passionate, they're patient and they're loving and they go be out above and beyond to care and cater for every single dog. And, you know, working with people like that, it chokes me up because that's, to me, what um, having a business and delivering a message is all about. So working, you know, with your co-workers to get to a common goal, that's a real joy. And each and every person who's come through the door has delivered something really different and really mean, meaningful to the business's life. So I'm really grateful. So I'm going to name some names. and um, Some of our clients might know some of these people or they will rem- have remembered them from the years gone by. So this is very self-indulgent, but I'm going to just see if I can mention a few names and, um, uh, and acknowledge these people for all of the work that they've done over the 21 years. So to the current team who work so hard and uh, familiar faces, I'm sure, to people in the street, Tay, Leray, Jeff... Steph, Brett, Hayley, Tyler, Tay, Chloe, Arzel, Minnie, Norman, Marnie, Colleen, Melanie, and uh, I, I'm sure I've missed a someone, but if I if I have missed you, I'm terribly sorry. But each of these team members bring a re- unique gift and a skill set that really enable our team to deliver the best grooming that we can on every level. And there have also been some past employees that have really made their mark on, on this business and also the industry. And lots of these people are still employed in the industry or have their own business. And I'm really proud of, of that fact as well. And I'm sure I will have missed a few, but there have been some wonderful contributors over the years. And um, past people like Paula and Tani, Annie, Rachel, Jen, uh, Rach, Maggie, Tara, Lisa, Cheryl, Leah... Mandy, Alicia, Brett, uh, Brent, Laura, Nina, Fiona, Cindy, Lisa, Arrow, Heidi, Liz, Nicole, um, Nick, the groomer, uh, Jess, Luke, Janelle, Dee, Leona. The list goes on and on and on. And this business couldn't run without those beautiful staff that have come and just had a fabulous um, connection 
and also, you know, some great memories have been made in these in these walls. We've also got a few street people that um, we really love having uh, as part of our community and the, all of the traders here have been fantastic over the years. Um, but we've got some characters on the street as well and I know the locals will know um, the types of Danny Harkin and Kylie Candy and Funeral Joe and Milkshake Dave and Michael um, and back in the day Morris and Bernadette and these people are wonderful characters and help um, colour our life and um, they're, they're fabulous uh, community inspirations. But mostly I would like to thank our wonderful customers and there are way too many to name. You know who you are. Thank you for gifting us the, your precious babies and we thank you for allowing us to care and love your pets and love your pets as much as, um, as you do. You've led us into our lives and we've laughed together and we've cried together and we've watched your families grow. It's a privilege to work with dogs and it's dogs just do so much. They enrich our daily life, they allow us to make lifelong friendships, they comfort us, they keep us fit, they make us laugh and they do so much more. It's not always easy, but we love what we do, don't we, Tay? 100%. <laughs> Mostly. Um, and both Anna and I, um, really, we, we're so grateful to be part of the community and we want to remain a, a important contributors to our community in years to come. So thanks for your support. We love Seddon, we love the dogs, and happy birthday to us. And we are literally living the dream. So, yay. yay. We made it. We happy made it 21st birthday, doggy <laughs> dudes. Thank you. Woohoo.